Hello everyone. Welcome to the first canoe trip of the year. Um, we are here in Kawartha Highlands Park. I'm doing the Long Lake Loop. It's a much shorter loop than the Big Trout Loop I did in Algonquin last year. But this time around, we are uh, focusing on fishing. I really want to catch a lake trout, so we are on a bunch of lakes that have lake trout in them. So hopefully, I can get one into the canoe this time. Uh, last year, I went on a little backcountry trip and uh, I tried, but I did not succeed. So hopefully, we can knock this off the list this year. Never caught one, so that is the goal. But anyways, even if we don't, it's good to get out here. Uh, it was a long winter that was mild, but kind of just crappy for doing outdoor things, at least winter-wise, so I'm glad the weather is finally warming up and it's time to get out canoe camping, truck camping, all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna check back in with you guys on uh, either the next portage or maybe when I bring a fish in the boat. All right, guys, I just finished the first portage. Uh, just a quick 100 meter portage, nothing serious, just a little warm up, which I kind of needed, because it is chilly today. I had to stop and put on my jacket earlier. Um, the wa wind coming off of the water here is pretty chilly. The water's super cold, so I definitely won't be going swimming anytime soon. But uh, we're actually almost to the lake I'm gonna camp at tonight, so just gotta paddle down this creek, and uh, we'll be there. Alright guys, I've just stopped here for a quick lunch. I've already uh, trolled around the whole lake. I got my first catch of the trip. We got a fish. I think we got a fish. Oh my god. It's a big one. It's a big one. Wow, first catch of the year, guys. Ooh, that's chilly. I was so excited. Yeah, definitely not what I was looking for. And I've either hooked on to the most sticks I've ever caught in one day, or I've missed a couple fish, because I had similar things happen twice, and they came off just before I got it to the boat, but it wasn't fighting back, so I think it was sticks. Anyways, this is my campsite I'm supposed to be staying at tonight. Um, I'm kind of on the fence right now. It is just about 1 o'clock, and I've already trolled the whole lake, and I kind of want to just knock out the portage tonight and just camp at the next lake and kind of have like a more relaxed time over there and focus on fishing that lake. I'm still undecided. I'm going to think about it here while I eat, but uh, I don't know. I just want to keep going. <laughs> I really want to get that portage out of the way and kind of just be out there. There's a couple cabins on this lake and I just, I want to be away from it all. So anyways, I'll have lunch and we'll uh, figure it out after that. There we go.
All right, guys, it's been a minute since I last updated you. I, uh, I ended up doing that portage. Um, it was a 1.3K portage, so a good one, and uh, very hilly here in uh, Kawartha Highlands. I um, did the canoe in two tries, which is a couple minute break in between, but it, it kicked my ass. I was shaking by the time I had to put the canoe down. But yeah, anyways, I've just been uh, trolling around Cherry Lake and Triangle Lake, just checking out the campsites and the checking out the lake and uh, on my way to the campsite I was gonna stay at all of a sudden my rod bent over sideways we got a fish <laughs> it's better not be a stick this time no it's shaking oh yeah oh man my heart is pounding Oh my God. Yo, 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 no, he's wrapped in the net. He's wrapped in the net. Oh. oh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. No way. No way. Oh, man, that went so bad. Dude, I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Okay. I was starting to get doubts that I may even catch one on this trip. No way. My first lake trout. Oh, my God, that's a beautiful fish. That is so cool. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whew. Yes. This is a successful trip now. Looks like we're having some uh, lake trout for dinner as well. So cool. All right, guys, I have uh, got camp pretty much set up now. Uh, collected some firewood, got the fire started, and then uh, I set up my tent there. Uh, if you notice, I got a new air mattress and pillow. The pillow, like, it gets down smaller than my fist, basically, when it's packed down. And then uh, the mattress, it's a lot better than the other one I had before. It was just uh, it was a sale self-inflator one. I got it for the time being, because honestly, 
I had to buy so much gear to get started. So I, I kind of just got what I was able to afford. And uh, this year I upgraded that in the pillow to try and get my pack downsized a little bit so it can be more organized and uh, a little lighter. And then uh, also I just want to be a little bit more comfortable. So we upgraded those. I'd also like to upgrade the tent this year. So if any of you guys have any um, tents you would like to suggest for me, uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm also kind of thinking about uh, a hammock too. Uh, I, I'm not really sure, but uh, definitely want to upgrade that a little bit. Um, when it's really hot, I get a lot of moisture buildup in there. So anyways, um, I'm going to clean up my trout and uh, we're going to get to cooking. All right guys, here is my lake trout. I cooked it a little long just to make sure it was cooked. Um, yeah, it looks great. I've never cleaned a lake trout before, so I kind of made a mess of it at first, but so much meat on this. Uh, definitely could have brought some lemon or something but I kind of forgot when I was at the grocery store. Honestly, so many hours went into just trying to catch this fish. Um, not only is it not the first time I tried, but uh, just hours of checking like the fishing regulations, which lakes had them, which lakes were stocking them. And uh, yeah, to actually make it happen is so awesome. I was getting a little concerned that I would come out here and it not happen. And for it to happen on day one, I get to eat it like, just made it over the fire. So awesome that to make your ideas come to fruition and also catch a new species. All right guys, I've crawled into the tent for the night. Um, sat by the fire for a bit, kind of looked at the map, to make a game plan as I've kind of moved my uh, trip forward by skipping a lake. Um, normally you can't do that and I probably shouldn't be doing it, but um, because there's, there's literally no one in the park right now. It's the opening week and I did run into two people today because it was Saturday or Sunday morning, but everyone was heading out. But other than that, I don't think there's literally anyone camping right now in this area. So um, I already knew the sites weren't booked. That's why I went ahead and did it. But otherwise, I would not have done it. Anyways, yeah, awesome day. I still can't believe I caught that lake trout. I've watched back the clip a couple times. Just I was so excited. <laughs> I'm still so happy about it. But oh, I literally just didn't think it was gonna happen and for for it to actually happen I'm just pumped
Good morning, guys. It's day two of the, the canoe trip here. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't sleep well at all. It's pretty freaking cold out here. I've got layers, but I, I should have packed differently, I think. Um, either way, I ended up getting up at like three in the morning, started the fire again, and I did end up falling back asleep. But it was a long night. Anyways, I had my breakfast already. I had an extra meal because I caught the lake trout, so I decided to use that with some eggs because I was super hungry and it hit the spot. But today, we are gonna climb up this cliff that is behind me. I can't stop staring at it, so I wanna go to the top and get the view from up there. And then uh, we'll come back, probably have some lunch, and then we're gonna head out onto the next lake. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm ready for the day. So let's get started. Well guys, this was definitely worth the climb. It's beautiful up here, what a beautiful lake. Honestly, I'm surprised there's not like a better trail to get up here, cause this is friggin' beautiful, like, what a lake. Honestly, I'm so glad I came out on this trip. On uh, the way up here, I found this like weird cave, the coloring's kinda off cause I hit a button. But uh, something was definitely bedding there, you can see a bunch of paw prints and stuff. I did not get any closer than I had to, I just got a quick shot, got out of there. Um, it is that time of year. It's April, so bears could be coming out of hibernation. They could be hungry, irritated, and I want none of that business. So, anyways, I'm gonna be cautious on my way back down, but what a day already. And it's just beginning. Well guys, it has turned into a pretty wet afternoon out here. Uh, as I was checking out that waterfall over there, just throwing a couple casts, even though it was only like two feet of water, it started spitting. So I came over to this campsite just in case, and then it stopped. So I started eating lunch, and then uh, it started again. So I started collecting wood. And now it's been about three hours. It's pretty steady now. Um, not sure if it's supposed to continue on. When I checked the weather before I came out here, I didn't even say it was supposed to rain today, so. Yeah. Not sure what the rest of this trip is gonna look like, honestly. Um, I was supposed to be at this lake tomorrow, and that would have been my final day, and now I'm already here. Yeah, I don't know. This lake's supposed to have brook trout in it. I tried fishing, but obviously right now it's not the best for that. I'd like to try some more, but I really don't know what the rest of this trip holds. Tomorrow, 
I might end up heading out tomorrow if uh, weather like this keeps up because it is way too cold to be hanging out in the rain. All right, it has been many hours yet again. Um, I tried to go fishing and I was just exhausted. It's been a long couple days. I haven't slept much in like the past week and finally it hit me. So I decided to take a nap. And uh, now that I've gotten up, I've uh, got some water on to make dinner tonight, which I think is gonna be pad thai. So hopefully that's pretty good. But I wanted to show you what my shelter is looking like tonight. So you may have seen earlier, I had a tarp set up. But we have it set up over the picnic table. And I have set my mattress and everything up on top of the picnic table. And that is going to be where I sleep tonight. Um, my tent, it, it's a tight quarter. And in this colder weather, it creates a lot of condensation on my tent. And not feeling it. It was just like if you moved at all, you were getting wet. So we're going to try something different. It's also no bugs. We're taking advantage of that and we're being open to the elements. Um, it's also sturdy. It's a nice flat surface. So hopefully that goes well tonight. Hopefully I get a lot of sleep. It's felt great for the last couple hours. So I'm sure it'll be fine for the night. Anyways, uh, let's make dinner. Oh. A little too much water in this one. It's pad thai soup. Mm. It's actually so good though. Soup and all. Hot cocoa. I'm in love. Feel that warm in my insides. I expect another chilly night tonight. Every night I think was below zero the night of nights I'm out here. And I'm in a five degree sleeping bag. Because I don't want to pack a bigger one, so it's gonna to toughen up. Alright, I'm gonna eat. And then uh, maybe we're gonna catch a sunset. Well guys, it ended up being almost perfect day now. Uh, it's clear skies, hopefully we see the stars tonight. Got a fire going. Um, yeah, a little bit of rain. Sometimes you just gotta deal with it. But yeah, what a trip so far, man. It's only been two days and so much has happened. Um, from the lake trout, we climbed a cliff this morning. Got to see some wildlife with balloons and beavers, lots of ducks. Oh, I'm finally getting into the groove, the camping vibe. I was really in a rush to just accomplish things and now I'm like, 
finally feeling some peace, you know. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to head out tomorrow. I, I think I'm going to make the most of this trip and uh, see as much as possible. There's a, there's a waterfall and then um, a few other lakes that I think I'm going to try and tackle and uh, get the full experience while I'm here. I might as well. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy the fire and I will check with you before I head to bed. All right, guys, that's it for another day. Um, hopefully, I can get a good night's sleep out here on this picnic table. And hopefully, I don't roll off in the middle of the night. Good morning guys. Welcome to day three of my uh, canoe trip here in Kawartha Highlands. Oh, we got some eggs and bacon for breakfast here. Uh, hopefully they are still good, otherwise I'm gonna have a rough afternoon here. But yeah, I did have a rough night again last night. It, it's just cold. Um, I should have brought my bigger sleeping bag it would have been worth having a bit bigger pack size. It wouldn't even have been a big difference in weight, but it's just hard to sleep in this temperature when you're not, when you're freezing. <laughs> this is uh, definitely a learning curve for me. I've never camped in this time of year before. I have it in my truck, but not like this. So you don't have anything to fall back on when you're out here. So you gotta be prepared. So I got up in the middle of the night had a fire, ended up having some chili, and uh, had a coffee, and then uh, slept for a couple more hours. So anyways, I'm gonna get my breakfast and coffee into me, and then uh, we got a big day ahead of us. I'll, uh, I'll show you on the map what we're up to here once I'm up. All right, so I'll go over the map with you guys as I clean up my war zone I got going on here. All right, so our starting point was here at Long Lake. First day, we paddled all the way down through and we went to Cox Lake where I was supposed to stay, but we ended up jumping ahead to Triangle. And uh, that's where we caught that lake trout. After that, we went through Cherry to Turtle where I am now. Now, originally, I was thinking of just cutting over here, cutting up, there's a waterfall there, and then heading my way out. But I think I'm going to just check out the waterfall, then come back and go through these portages up through Buzzard Lake and do the full loop here. Um, either way would work. It's not much difference in distance. It's mainly portaging. There's going to be over two kilometers of portaging today. And uh, hopefully I can find a campsite somewhere along this lake. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty big day. Uh, it's definitely my biggest day of portaging. I'm going to try to paddle to the farther side of that buzzard lake and it'll kind of be similar to the same amount of distance I traveled the first day. Not crazy, but portaging adds a lot, especially multiple. So anyways, I'm going to finish my coffee here and then we are going to pack the rest of this crap up and get on the water and get on the move.
All right, guys, I have just made it to the first portage here. Um, I'm gonna end up putting this camera away so I can focus on portaging, but I'm running into an issue and I've been running into it the whole trip. I've got this uh, map, it's from, I think, Unlostify. And um, great map, it shows you a bunch of stuff like waterfalls, like things to look for and where you would find moose, cool stuff. But almost every portage has been short. It'll be at least 100 meters short on every single one. And on this one, it's about 400 meters, which is a big difference. Like in this morning I said I could be doing two kilometers of portaging. I could now be doing anywhere from three to four depending on how off this map is. So can't always trust the map, especially when you're planning. This could turn into a really rough day. It wouldn't be a bad day if my canoe was like, you know, 40 pounds, but it's double plus that. And uh, I'm gonna need more protein bars. Wow, that was absolutely beautiful. I was starting to question whether all the bushwhacking was worth it. Uh, if only there was someone else to film just what it actually takes to get some of these shots sometimes. But um, anyways, this area is full of landmarks here because on the way in here, I found this friggin' awesome cliff and another waterfall. So we're gonna check that out next. This cliff is friggin' beautiful. When I came around the bend over here and seen it, I was like, whoa! Just not expecting it at all. And you can just hear the waterfall pounding. When you usually see a huge cliff like this, like this has gotta be over 100 feet, you think the water is gonna be just about the same, right? And it is literally only two feet deep here. You can see weeds and stuff right here. Nuts. So cool. You didn't think I'd paddle all the way out here and not climb to the top. What a view. On to the next portage. Oh. oh, come on. Smooth pull out, man. There we go. Well, guys, that uh, 
Last portage kicked my ass. I was getting pretty lucky in most of the steep portages. I was on the decline, but that time I had to do some climbing. The good thing is, is it was at least the same length as what it said on the map. So we're up. I'll have to do the math and see how much portaging I end up doing by the end of the day. This lake is it's beautiful. Oh, well guys, I just finished my lunch there. Whew. What a full day this has been, and it's only like noon. We're at 12.30. It's crazy. I've seen so much. I'm so glad that I made the decision to uh, do the full loop here and um, see as much as possible, because I've had an overload today of just different things, the waterfalls, cliffs, waterfalls, more cliffs in this lake. This lake is so awesome. There's only one campsite here. So if you get it, you get this lake basically to yourself. People will pass through, but it's just you staying out here, it's so cool. Anyways, I am going to uh, do one more troll around the lake, and uh, then we have one more portage to get into our last lake. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I may have changed my mind here. It's raining. I'm close enough that I can make it out tonight and there's not much point of me staying out here just to hang out in the rain when I have a warm place to sleep. I've had my adventure, I've seen uh, a common lake trout, I've seen so much today. Me staying tonight would really just to be to make food and prove a point which... And I have nothing left to prove. Uh, the GoPro actually died from being too cold out there, so if that's not enough reason to leave. As soon as I started to get ready for the next portage, it started to hail and rain even harder. So, yeah, I think I made the right decision to uh, call the trip. But I've seen everything I needed to see. That last lake is, uh, it gets back into cottages and everything, so you kind of get out of that backcountry vibe anyways. And I had seen the waterfalls, the cliffs that I wanted to see. All in all, it was a great trip. Uh, definitely could have packed differently. Could have went when it was a little warmer, but I also ended up catching that lake trout that I wanted to see and uh, got myself ready for the year ahead of uh, just more canoe camping and getting in the outdoors. Um, portaging wise, I ended up doing 2.8 kilometers of portaging that day. And then if you times that by three, that's how much I actually traveled on land portaging because I had to double carry. So you have to carry one way, walk back, grab your stuff, and then finish the job. Um, so that, that, that was a good day of portaging anyways with uh, my gear. My gear's not that light, definitely that canoe. I know I say it a lot, but it's freaking heavy, man. Anyways, uh, I really enjoyed that place. I'm actually going back in a week's time from now, so in a few weeks, the videos will start coming out for that. And uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed the trip. And uh, until next time, just keep going one day at a time.